Hi folks, welcome back to the channel and in today's episode we're still on the theory and we're working on how the side spin changes angles. We have done backspin with 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, different spin compared to just a straight draw shot. Today we're going to be looking at how does the angle change with spin without having to stun the ball. Now stunning the ball is a very, very, very difficult thing for a lot of players to execute consistently, certainly over a long period of time. As I've demonstrated in some of the other videos, the cue ball is smaller and lighter than the object balls when playing eight ball pool. And because of this, the stun shot is very, very difficult to execute. Why is that? Well, a lot of it comes down to the grip. How tight you grip the cue determines on how much stun is affected onto the object ball. What do I mean by stun? So middle ball striking played with a loose grip becomes a natural angle shot. The physics of the smaller ball hitting the bigger ball going wherever it has to go. But once you start imparting pressure onto the cue and gripping the cue tighter, you're now instructing the cue ball to bite off the object ball and take a different line. This, this is known as a stun shot. Now, if you've got two balls the same size, snooker, American pool as an example, this is an easier shot to execute because the middle of the object ball is being struck by the middle of the cue ball. As I've said, in eight ball pool, the cue ball is lighter and smaller, so therefore the cue ball hits below the centre of the object ball. And the line and the physics of the balls are completely different. How can we get around this in a way where we don't have to change the grip and bring in the execution of the stun shot? This is where I go to the clock face method. You're going to see lots and lots of videos of me using the clock face. I believe that it's easier to control the cue ball and be more consistent if you keep the grip the same, neutral, in your hand so you've got control over it but with very little pressure and you use the clock face cue ball to change the angle of the, of, of, of the path of it and not the stun shot. Let me demonstrate. The first shot is 12 o'clock on the cue ball attempting to get onto the eight. Not bad at all, not bad at all. But what would happen if there was an object ball in the way of the line that we've wanted to take? What would we do? So as you'll notice, I've slightly moved the yellow ball and the reason I've moved the yellow ball is because that was the line that the cue ball and the path it took when I hit 12 o'clock on the cue ball to get to the eight ball. Now clearly we have to avoid this ball and we have to avoid the ball in such a way to still come nicely onto the, onto the eight. However, my method and my theory of playing the game would not be to put any pressure on the butt at all and try to impart any type of stun impact. I think it's very, very difficult to get the right amount of pressure onto the cue and impart the correct amount of stun on the cue ball to get the line I want. So what I would do is the clock face. The clock face method, you will hear me say this a lot throughout this series, and so certainly in any coaching session where you come to see me. I'm looking to keep the grip neutral soft in my hands and go to one o'clock on the cue ball in this instance because I want the line to move to the right. So instead of the line coming here, I want to come into here and then let the one o'clock on the cue ball then take the path that I want, but not stunning the ball. So grip neutral, the same. I go to one o'clock on the cue ball, top right, as opposed to stunning it.
and there you have it, exactly the same shot as the first time around, executed exactly the same, at exactly the same speed. The difference was the first shot was 12 o'clock on the cue ball, and the second time around, it was one o'clock on the cue ball, with exactly the same result. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment down below. See you in the next one.